Hey, hey, tension. Talking about the um, funding for unemployment, um, the state has paid out over a billion dollars. I talked to Senator Massey yesterday. He said it sounds like they'll be able to keep funding for at least a few more months. How concerned are you about that money running out? Well, we are concerned. All that's not state money. Uh, a lot of that, mo most of that is the the $600 for unemployment that's attached to the, the the state unemployment, but we're still, I think we're probably getting close to about $500 million. So yes, I'm concerned about it, and what we want to do is we don't want to put that burden back on uh, back on the, the businesses. So that's that's a part of Accelerate SC's plan and objectives is is to find a way to to solve these these problems and and see that uh, that we get business going and that we don't handicap them yes ma'am um, as it relates to your authority on tuesday in the continuing resolution um, as you know the legislature put in a provision that uh, takes that 1.9 billion dollar share from the cares act and puts it through their oversight first the senate also adopted a bill that uh, whenever you want to roll out another executive order, they would have to uh, approve it first. And I'm wondering your thoughts on the legislature trying to roll back some of your authority. Well, the the last the the resolution there that you you mentioned about the executive orders, e each of these uh, de declarations of emergency are, are are separate and independent. Uh, we began addressing one thing: the spread of the virus. Now we're focusing as we've gone along. It's been an evolving thing, and we're focusing. Uh, mainly now on reopening and on uh, tracking, uh, testing and tracking, and those sorts. So it's a, it, they're different, uh, different types of states of emergency. However, now is not the time. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We've got over 400,000 people that are drawing unemployment, that are out of work. We've got businesses trying to open. People want to know when they're going to be able to go back to school. We've got half our child care centers closed. Now is not the time to be having an academic argument over those kind of things. What we're doing, we're looking forward very much to working with the legislature. That is why we've had them in this extraordinary group, uh, Accelerate SC. They've been, we've had six members uh, appointed by the House and by the Senate to be here. They've been fully involved in everything that's gone on. Uh, they've been informed and been part of this, and we expect the the, the work of Accelerate SC as uh, Merle, uh, the speaker, as well as uh, the chairman of Ways and Means, have said that this, this will be a vital part of the plan moving forward, and we're looking forward to that. Governor, with uh, Memorial Day next weekend, what, what's your thoughts on, on those hotels on the beaches reopening, the threat to those beach communities with people? We have never closed the hotels. We, we never, that, that's a, they did that in some other states, but we never did that. Of course, when we, when the uh, Centers for Disease Control issued a domestic travel advisory for New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and the city of New Orleans, that is asking those people a month or so ago not to travel outside of the states. Uh, we reflected that by limiting reservations from those states for a short period of time. But we have not closed hotels, a lot of, we, not by state uh, mandate, but a, a lot of the our hotels uh, like restaurants and other, other businesses or retail and otherwise are being attempting to be very careful and and are trying to follow the guidance that's been issued by by this group by accelerate sc as, as well as the cdc and others but what we're hoping we want to get back into business we our economy is not not made to be shut down we we need to we need to get going but we have to do so very carefully because this virus is still here it is still highly contagious and our, one of our main focuses, besides having the businesses open up safely, and there have been some ideas that have, have come up here just today, just a few minutes ago, that are great ideas for giving the people confidence in the, these businesses and these activities. But we must focus on the elderly, in the, the senior centers, in the nursing homes, because it is it's the elderly and those with, as well as underlying conditions, uh, minority communities, rural communities. There are a lot of places we really need to focus on now as we enter into this phase of the, the virus and our response to it. Governor, we've seen uh, President Trump invite a number of governors to the 
White House. We've also seen the President travel a little bit to individual states. I'm wondering, has the President offered you an invitation to come to D.C., or have you offered the President an invitation to come down to South Carolina? The President is always invited to come to South Carolina. He knows that he's been here plenty of times, so has the Vice President. We've been covered up with visits and attention by him as well as, as Cabinet members. But I think we've, we've mentioned this before. We're on the telephone in these, these uh, teleconferences uh, on a weekly basis at least with the President and the Vice President, sometimes, sometimes both. So we're in constant communication with the, the uh, officials in Washington. We would l we'd love to be able to do that. That's something that, uh, th that this group and others are addressing. We've had some interest reflected, and uh, we hope to be able to respond positively. Uh, not only do we have great stadiums, uh, but uh, we have uh, great beaches, and we have great mountains, and other things that people can enjoy while they're here. But we, we want to we get we want to get the state reopened as quickly as we can and get back to that prosperity that we were on a great path to prosperity when the, vi when the virus came along. We got to get back there as quickly as we can, but we must do so safely. And I'll say if NASCAR, uh, the, the lady in black, the track too tough to tame, if you have not been to Darlington and seen those cars, uh, it, uh, watch it on television this time, but try to go next time because this is something that you will never forget. Uh, just as, uh, of course, the heritage is going to be at, at, at Hilton Head in June, and that's going to be unforgettable as well. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, related to the number of, of coronavirus cases we've had, but more specifically, the number of people who have died in the state because of COVID-19, um, their families are obviously trying to figure out funeral arrangements under a very sort of abnormal time. I'm wondering what your, your message to those families, to the over 300 at this point families in South Carolina. Well, of course, they, those families have been prayed for by their friends, by, by all of us. It, it is a, it's a terrible thing, and it's a, it's a contagion. It's dangerous. It's deadly. We know that, and our hearts and prayers are with all those who've, who've lost family members uh, and friends as well. But uh, we're, we're all in this together, and there, there, are, there are, are ways to, uh, most of people are, are putting off the, the actual services, the, the larger events, until a later time. I think that's a, a wise thing to do according to all the guidelines. But we'll be providing as much information as we can for, to help people make those decisions. And of course, there are other sources for good information as well. Yes, sir. What was your experience uh, out and about visiting a restaurant again? It was delightful. We love Lizard's Thicket. Uh, Mr. Williams is on this Accelerate uh, uh, committee. And uh, it's, we got a lot of great restaurants in this state. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure to go in. We have such a large variety. You can, you can, most anything you want, you can find in our state. And I look forward to them all be open and thriving again. And I urge everybody to be safe, but go. Thank you.